and uh, as Fred talked about earlier, this the concept here is being able to provide an environment where you can share your outbound applications within a company. So um, just to be, Randall is not a real thing, it's a fake company. I just wanted to talk about Randall. It's a fake company, it's a okay. fake logo, it's a fake company. Yeah. So we've got a um, you know, set of outbound applications that have been shared uh, within the company, similar functionality to the, you know, the public app hub. So we've got, we can filter by business function, have a look at the apps by, that are in finance, in operations, in sales. Uh, if I go back to uh, pick on one of them, so let's take the uh, production plan application. Again, uh, screenshots and documentation. Where with the, the public app hub, you'd say, well, which part was it? Was it, uh, you know, like we saw earlier with uh, applications provided by Deloitte? If it's within your enterprise app hub, it's going to be you know, information about the person who, who provided that app. And so um, capturing this IP, particularly for those, those applications where um, yeah, it, it's critical business, you know, part of your business process, not something you want, want to share. Um, one other uh, use case for this is taking um, applications out of the public app hub, and as you mentioned earlier, you can extend them. So you may have, uh, you know, take the SMB app that we show, you might have a different way of running your demand forecast that's you know, very critical to your business. You could then push that app to the your enterprise app hub and make it available across, across the organization. Exactly. So you can bring it with the right connectors you're going to have, the right business rules that you've modified to fit specifically the way your organization operates.